In this video, we present an automatic, physics-based method for synthesizing liquid sound directly from visual simulation of fluid dynamics. Here is an animation produced by a recent fluid simulator. And here is the same simulation with audio automatically generated using our method. <laughs> As previous studies have shown, and as can be seen from this video footage, the addition of audio subtly enhances the sense of visual realism. Although the sound generated by liquid is the result of many sources, the dominant source is oscillations of bubbles within the fluid medium. For example, bubbles are created during the breaking of ocean waves, rain falling on water, and objects dropping into water, to name a few. A perfectly spherical bubble will resonate at a single frequency, which is determined by the bubble's radius. A 20 millimeter bubble produces a 150 hertz frequency and sounds like this. Whereas a 5 millimeter bubble produces sound at 600 hertz. All bubbles, however, are not spherical. To handle non spherical bubbles, we propose a method to decompose each bubble into a representative number of spherical harmonics. In this animation, we show a typical non spherical bubble and its oscillation modes, each with a particular frequency. The modes with frequencies closest to the zeroth mode resonate, providing the largest contribution. We select those modes, which in this case center around the tenth mode. For example, if we approximate this non-spherical bubble as a sphere, as before, we get a single frequency. However, if we decompose it into ten modes, it sounds like this, creating a much richer sound. We have chosen two different fluid simulators commonly used in computer graphics, a shallow water approximation and a grid SPH hybrid method. The grid SPH hybrid method does a full 3D fluid and bubble simulation. Our algorithm automatically extracts the bubbles and generates the corresponding liquid sound. The shallow water simulator is used to highlight the real-time nature of our sound synthesis mechanism, as well as our ability to generate sound in the absence of explicit bubbles. In this example, we have five objects falling into a pool of water. As expected, their impact traps both large and small bubbles below the surface, creating the characteristic lower frequency bloop, as well as the higher frequency splashing. Here, we simulate the classic dam break scenario, highlighting our simulator's ability to handle very turbulent scenes. As the wave crashes back onto itself, a tube-shaped bubble is formed, similar to the bubbles formed by natural breaking waves. In the last example using this simulator, water is poured into an empty tank, generating bubbles of varying sizes and shapes. If real-time performance is desired and the bubbles are not explicitly handled by the simulator, our algorithm can still be applied. We use physical parameters such as velocity and fluid surface curvature to determine when to generate the bubbles and how their sizes are distributed. In this example, you can hear the characteristic rushing and babbling of the water in a brook. If we increase the flow, as you would expect, more bubbles are formed as the curvature and velocity of the surface increase. Finally, we have a rubber duck in a bathtub. The user interactively moves the duck around the tub, creating waves and the corresponding sound. The blue spikes indicate regions of high curvature and velocity. When the curvature and velocity exceed a threshold, bubbles are created and the sound is generated. We have presented a simple and effective method for automatically generating physically based sounds directly from existing fluid simulation. Our method generates sound both directly from the bubble simulated by a high quality fluid simulator or through a physically based bubble creation model in an interactive simulator.